Hello once again and welcome to another lesson. T today we're going to talk about <coughs> um, how Ghana got its name. Um, previously, our country Ghana was called Gold Coast. Okay, so there were a series of events that took place that led to the change of name from Gold Coast to Ghana. Okay. So that is what we are going to look at today. How how the name Gold Coast changed to Ghana and why Ghana. Okay. All right. So Ghana is found in West Africa, like we know. It's found in the West Africa. And the number of people in Ghana right now is about 28 million. So before the seat March 1957, another country called Britain controlled Ghana. Okay they ruled over Ghana. So the British told Ghana what to do and what not to do. At the same time, Ghana was called Gold Coast. Some people came to um, the Gold Coast and then the Portuguese were the first people that came to the Gold Coast. The Portuguese are Europeans. They are the first people to have come to Gold Coast. They lived in our country in 14 they arrived sorry they arrived in the country in 1471 they found out that our land was rich in gold they called the place costa damina they called the place what costa damina does mean the, the name means that coast of the mine the meaning of costa damina in english is coast of the mine this name soon changed to gold coast okay it soon changed to gold coast so it's like the um, europeans were the people who actually gave the name gold coast to the country so some some great leaders in ghana saw that we had to control our own affairs okay they, they realized that the way we are being controlled by the british needs to stop we need to um, control our own country so then what happened let's take a look all right, so these are some of the great leaders who thought that Ghana should um, rule their own country. On my left, you can find um, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and then on my right, you can find Dr. J.B. Dankwa. They are um, part of those people who thought Ghana should be able to control their own country. So they worked and then finally gained independence for Ghana on 6th March 1957. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was the leader of the group that gained independence for Ghana. After independence, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and Dr. J.B. Dankwa decided to change the name of our country. They wanted a name that will represent a free and independent country. So they chose the name Ghana. And then the meaning of Ghana is warrior king. The meaning of Ghana is warrior king. It was, it was Dr. J.B. Dankwa who suggested the new name, Ghana, to replace the old name, Gold Coast. So you see, after independence, they thought of a name, and it was Dr. J.B. Dankwa who brought the name Ghana. Okay, he was the one who, who, who suggested the name Ghana for the country. So, the, before the... It is believed that the first people or settlers in present-day Ghana were from an old empire called Ghana Empire. It was from an old empire called the Ghana Empire. The old Ghana Empire covered the areas between Sudan and Mali. Okay? So in the map there, you can see that is the map of the old Ghana Empire. That is the map of the old Ghana Empire. And it covers areas between Sudan and then Mali. Sudan and then Mali. After the fall of the old Ghana Empire, some of the people did not want to want others to worry them. So they moved to other places. They also traveled to look for good land for farming. Others also traveled for trade. So some of the people settled in present day Ghana. The Akans the accounts which are the dominant group in present day Ghana are believed to come from 
Manji in the old Ghana Empire. Okay, so it is believed that the accounts come from Manji in the old Ghana Empire. So Dr. Karen Kroma and the JB Dankwa took the name from the old Ghana Empire. The name of the, the meaning of the name Ghana is Warrior King. So when Dr. Kwame Nkrumah won the 1956 election, the name Ghana was suggested to the Legislative Assembly or the Parliament. So the Assembly agreed to the change of name on 3rd August 1956. And then they wrote to the UK government to inform them about the change. So on 6th March 1957, Ghana was declared as an independent country. That is why on every 6th March, we celebrate Ghana's Independence Day. This means that, Ga this means that every 6th March is the birthday of Ghana. So just like how you have birthday, I have a birthday, Ghana also have birthday, which is what 6th March. Right, so in your view right now, you can you see a map. This map was a map that was used during the Gold Coast era. So during the Gold Coast era, this was the map that they were using. Now, after independence, we need to have a new map. So a new map was designed for Ghana. So there is a map on my left, designed for Ghana. And then a new coat of arm too was designed for Ghana. So basically, sorry. Basically, these are um, the features of Ghana, the map and then the coat of arms after independence. All right. So this is the end of the lesson. I hope now you know a little bit about Gold Coast and Ghana, how the name changed from Gold Coast to Ghana. All right. So I'll see you again in another lesson. So stay tuned with me.